Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Greetings ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ria Blasani from Class 60. And my student number ID is 3232400 Today I would like to present to you a little uh, short summary of my research finding. The title of the influence of using YouTube towards students listening comprehension is in in prosody text. And so, in today's world, English has become uh, more and more important. The government demands that every more uh, every student be able to communicate in English, both in verbal and non-verbal. And since uh, frequently in this globalized age, uh, a person competence to listen and analyze information during, during conversation is indicated by the listening skills, which are crucial for learning English as a language. Students need to employ active listening skills in order to comprehend and interpret the message. The utilization of video media throughout the listening process creates uh, its own impression. Technology is essential to society and is employed in many ways of daily life. For instance, a large number of individuals utilize technology to carry out tasks and jobs, like looking for employment, including commercial uh, deals or acquiring information. Using video media is one of the technological contributions that today's modern society uh, may make to the, uh, to the traditional process. So, with all of the advantages that technology offers in the fields of education, it is inevitable that as technology advances, so will the use of video media in uh, education. With the use of video, classes may communicate in the modern day with teachers and students that utilize digital video media in the classroom may find this uh, valuable. So, uh, I think a major interest is how using YouTube might improve students' uh, ability to listen to personal text. With the, product, with the primary study question is, is there an impact when employing YouTube towards students listening skills in personal text? So, the goal of this study is to determine whether using YouTube has an impact in uh, improving students' listening comprehension of personal text. Uh, next slide, please. So, the process of comprehending what speakers are saying can be referred to as listening comprehension. Uh, listeners can comprehend verbal information through second division, practice experience, grammatical structures. Uh, listening. So, listening comprehension is a significant process of communication in which listeners take in oral information based on sound, words, uh, okay, the segregation and has to have contextual speaking makes use linguistic and non-linguistic uh, cues. So in other words, the comprehension is a complex process of understanding of communication in which a person gain information from oral communication. In, on the other hand, YouTube is an extremely amazing social network that uh, supports worldwide learning. Uh, no matter how you share your website, YouTube users may uh, access, view, and share video without paying a fee. In order to meet the demands of the digital of the digital generation, YouTube may be used as a learning source and a specific type of international media. Instructional media. Sorry. YouTube could build interest and promote modern learning choices for online learning. Additionally, YouTube also offers students options for technical instructions that they may use beyond graduation. So, a uh, study conducted by Abu Sutiawan titled The Effect of Using The Effect of YouTube Videos in Students' Listening Comprehension of the Technical Students of Manuel Bajan Manuel was presented. This study school was to use YouTube video uh, material to look at how listening abilities affected students in the tech grade. With a quasi experimental design used in this work to implement the, qual the quantitative method, and according to the finding, 
is there was a discernible difference in listening comprehension in comparison between the control or and the, and the experimental group. So students who are instructed using YouTube videos do better academically than those who are instructed using more traditional methods. And so this previous study gave me the idea to conduct the same research, but I will but I only focus on the influence on students using comprehension in procedural text in the language so that's the difference. Okay. Next slide please. So in this idea, I employed the quantitative research methodology since it is an inductive, impartial, and scientific method of data collection. Uh, in quantitative research, the researchers uh, start study based on industry trends or the requirement to provide an explanation for an occurrence. So I used a true and I used a true experimental design to find the, the data. The true experimental design uh, led to a systematic method of gathering quantitative data and analyzing it using uh, mathematical models. This study focused on pretest and post-test with experimental group designs. Uh, the only group receiving treatment will be the experimental group. The researcher uh, I utilized pre and post-test to assess this comprehensive of positive text, so the objective is to achieve the result of during and following the treatment. As a listening comprehension examination for uh, possible types, the exam will be given. It will demonstrate the benefit of using YouTube video to teach listening comprehension. The pretest and post test is given uh, both to the experimental and the control group. And so, the study, uh, the study is in mind how YouTube videos affected the uh, the nine way fields ability to understand procedural instructions while listening. A true experimental design is used in this investigation in the study, which involved the random sample of 60 nine players to one or two groups. While studying about procedural text, the experimental group viewed YouTube videos while uh, the control group got traditional instructions instead without the use of video. So, and after the two weeks of uh, lesson and training, uh, the treatment, uh, we can make a pretest to determine the beginning level of the comprehension for each group. And following the treatment, a post test was given to both groups to evaluate their listening comprehension uh, abilities once more. So, the study studies revealed a statistically significant uh, distinction between the experimental and control group. The experimental group, which was uh, Talk positive text using YouTube videos instead of traditional education showed a substantial improvement in their listening comprehension scores for post test in contrast to the control group which had received instruction as usual without the use of videos. As can be seen here, the experimental group already scored uh, slightly higher than the control group with experimental group. Uh, the mean score of the free test for the experimental group, its scores is 50.3 while the control group score is 49.8. The previous master for the control group is 49.8. And after the post test, it revealed uh, that the experimental group scored uh, significantly higher than the control group with, 80, with the experimental post test man score is 83.6 while the control group post test man score is 7.2.2 and the study study revealed so uh, according to the findings teaching through YouTube videos can improve like the students in comprehension of procedural text the results support the uh, other importance that using YouTube videos as a teaching resource to improve students comprehension of procedural text if videos are utilized to make learning more dynamic and exciting Students may learn more efficiently and read the knowledge. A wide variety of videos on a variety of topics that are also available on YouTube, which may be utilized to augment the traditional classroom learning. And so it can be concluded from this research that uh, the results of the study show that educational tools like YouTube videos can significantly enhance ninth grade students' capacity to read. To hear procedural text, the experimental groups had a substantial improvement in this model in comprehension score when compared to the control group, which received conventional training. The results show that the teachers may include YouTube videos in their courses to make learning more engaging and collaborative 
which improves memory, and the studies that have significant implications for both future research in the skill and the usage of technology in the classroom. But the study might examine the value of YouTube uh, videos for teaching other subjects and the use may affect the other areas of learning. So, according to the study findings, I would like to make the following recommendations. Uh, the first suggestion is directed to the teachers or the instructors, the educators. It is expected that YouTube will make it simple for them to teach English and it could also improve students' listening comprehension of procedural text and encourage greater creativity to how they present their content. As an alternative, students also could practice listening in English on YouTube. Students should and students should use English dictionaries, internet dictionaries, and other resources of this pen to expand their vocabulary. Students should be active in their education and focus on their studies 